fanns en tack max där och bara kärlek att hon gärna så mycket. Jag har gått in och vill gå in till det för att se hur jag blir i år med att Mary Griffin. If I remember how I to how to do this, okay, he killed himself. Wait, do you only get over by a bomb jump? Like, oh wait, you do this. No, I thought this was... Really, dude? Is that you do need a fire rod? That I think it's stupid that you cannot use bombers or bombers, which is this, this bomber, the ether and quake. And of course, I also recognize the symbol, but then whenever you see Ryuka play this, he still messes up the symbol. Oh, that's ether, he and he sees quake, and oh, that's ether. No, that's I wonder this is like, like maybe he's doing it on purpose to trigger people, you know. And, that was weird. I could try the bomb jump because I need to get better at bomb jumps, but you know. I'm the other hot. Haha! I found the hot. Where are the oak parts of where could they be? You can make it move right into the sword. I can have a high chance of dropping the... You found a fire rod. With it you can burn bushes. You get it. This, nah, that's not what our fountain is either. There are so many unnecessary rooms in this dungeon, though. Know. Man, no, man, no, no. Oh, yeah. So, today I went up at 10, I think it was, because I went to bed at 23.30. And the previous day I went to, uh, I went, uh, or I went to bed at uh, 21.45 I believe it was, so almost 22.00, which is like a 10 in the evening. I don't care if I take the hammer spray. Yeah, this can never be hot pieces. So here's the thing, normally you would think that, oh, the bombers should work, right? Because here's the thing, right, bombers makes fire, it kills stuff. You even kill the ice elementals in the like in the ice palace with it, but it doesn't work on this, so you have to use the fire rod. Which I still think is stupid, you know. The ice rod is OP by the way against the second boss. 
Like so many people have problem with that enemy, but it's just like we oh yeah, we need to get that small key. I could have gotten another small key in the dungeon and then you know use that instead, you know. Yeah. Did they deal any damage? I forgot all if the, those no yeah in this game they deal damage. It's yeah 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 they do. Shoot that. I might as well use a potion, I have so many of those. There you always hit them pretty much. I believe there is a trick you can do here. Yeah, let's get rid of them. I know you can't dash from this position, I don't think you can. I just wanted to bait it there. I think it's the above one you hit, yeah, and then you hit this one and then you hit it. And we need to light all of them. What will you do when the flying boss is stupid? What will you do against the flying boss? He is not small at all. He is a stupid flying boss. And I'm about to run out of magic powder. But I killed it anyway. Because the boss is a moth that flies around. And that's totally stupid. Like. Like this dungeon is basically, hey, we have an like insect problem. <laughs> we need it here. Like this is kind of like a haunted place. That's always what I thought at least, you know, when I was younger. Oh, and then she appears and she's like, oh yeah, I'm wet and horny. Peter F, because of you, I can escape from either clutches of the beaches. Thank you. Did you ever pop the great cataclysm? In World of Warcraft, it used to be vanilla. But then there was chocolate, and then it came fire, and death we came, and he destroyed everything. And only a person with a big enough boat can save the world. Not at all, it's actually not supposed to be, not at all, like do you understand, like not everything is what it's supposed to be, like that you didn't understand all of it. But why that is there, I have no idea. And this, I believe, is where the Master Sword is. Yeah. You can actually go back here, this is actually interesting. If you do, because they will still be there and you can still read about it, you know. And I believe 
there's an interesting property with this place. As you can see, you cannot use the flute in there. Because it's, you know, I would be very interesting to know where that is located on the map, actually, you know, like how, you know. Okay, so now we should be able to get the gold sword. Which actually is pretty good, actually, if you think about it. Like, now we will be able to use the gold sword on the ice boss. Even though I don't think, I don't remember if the gold sword is better on that boss or not. <laughs> the gods fail once again to stop. Now they'll never catch me, fucking physics engine. Now they'll never catch me. Hey cousin, you wanna go bowling? Okay cousin, maybe another time. <laughs> he killed his own teammate. I'm gonna show you how. I said I'm gonna show you how I fixed the bone areas. We kill it in... 5. Which I mean it's not bad really if you think about it. Like 5 arrows, that's not bad. I believe silver arrows kill triple upon it. Well, pretty much... Silver arrows I think kill all enemies with one hit, if I'm not good here. Wait, what? I'm pretty certain you could get the gold sword when you have two crystals left. I think I, uh, I think you, I've actually messed up that the thing is not the amount of crystals you have left. The thing is you get, I have to get seven crystals you have to get. I think it's five and six is the crystals you have to get. I always thought this is weird because that seems weird. So now if I clear seven, I won't be able to get it right. <laughs> I'm actually gonna go to seven because I want to get the mirror shield. Because you know, because you know that's fun to get the mirror shield. Although I hate that down there. Like there's a certain specific room I hate because the room is really easy. To mess up if you don't remember the path. There is a certain place where you can get stuck, but normally it's a very specific path you go. And I don't know if I remember correctly the path that you needed to go. I don't have a medicine or magic. But you don't actually need it against the boss correct if you have like half magic thing. I'm pretty certain you don't need medicine or magic in it. I think you should have enough magic to actually kill the boss without medicine magic. But then you have to hit the boss precisely right. But the question is can you do it with this weapon because this weapon is considerably weaker with killing the head. So what you do is you only hit the head with the elemental with the elemental rod once and then you can hit it with the sword. And then like, uh, if you have the gold sword you kill the heads very very quickly and then of course if you use this sword, it's considerably weaker. Of course it's a really interesting when you go to this place in like a link between worlds because then you, the death mountain is kind of bigger. So you have access to other positions on death mountain, you know, and stuff like that. And it definitely went a bad game, like, it's not that because as I've said, I consider that to even be better than A Link to the Past. And I still stand by that some, somewhat. Like, the thing is, you cannot compare it really to A Link to the Past because it's not completely 2D. It's like a 3D 2D hybrid. Like, because it uses a different thing and it's not the same as A Link to the Past, you know. Like, if it was done in A Link to the Past, then it would be very good. And I like how it's a free magic refill also. So unlocking this down you can be worth it used for the free magic refill. Pretty much so yes. <coughs> Hopefully I remember the order to do things in. 
Well, you can get the magic refill there. Okay, do I remember how to do this correctly here? I just want to make a save state here in case I mess up here. Because I don't want to waste people's time here. So what you do, you do this. Shibushiki. Shibushiki and then you do... No, you don't do that. Now! Damn you, too late. No, 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 wait, I can still do this. 